we are going to Florence for a long weekend, next weekend, and I'm very excited, but travel also makes me quite nervous. So we're gonna do a lot of planning and a lot of packing this week. I've got plans to see a couple of friends, but otherwise it will be a lot of homebody <laughs> type exercises at home preparing myself for travel, resting as much as I can, and accepting that that is what I need to do to make travel doable. Right now, I'm gonna go to the park to do my calisthenics. I also bought a skipping rope because it feels like a fun, stimmy exercise, and I thought I'd give it a go. So that's what we're gonna do. My hair has grown so much recently. Last year I shaved it and I loved having a shaved head. And I've just kind of left it to grow out. I've had a couple of haircuts and I feel like I'm now moving into the zone of mullet. I love changing my hair. So I think I'm just gonna continue growing it until I feel like chopping it off again. So I'm gonna have to get some breakfast, maybe read my book over breakfast and then crack on with my work for the day. I think I'm going to write this week's newsletter about my tips for traveling as a neurodivergent person. We'll see. got sucked into a vortex of admin. I don't do admin often but when I do it's like all at once and it's it's just like I have to get it done all at once otherwise I'll never do it. So I treat it like a game and then at the end of the game the prize is me being exhausted. <laughs> There's one of them the bog. Get it into the net. Very simple. Isn't it? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Good morning. My second night in a row of waking up at 1.05 a.m. precisely and being awake for two hours just because <laughs> my brain decided it wanted to be awake. Apart from working on my newsletter, I need to pick up Alfie from the groomers today. <laughs> he is going to look like a rat. We get his hair cut very short. <laughs> especially over spring and summer. I think on the way back, I will pop into the card shop to collect a couple of cards to send to my friends. I also want to start on my packing list for Florence. Today, I'm wearing my favorite dungarees in the world. 
they are from Dickies. I got them on Vinted. Yeah, I love them. Good morning. I'm clutching apple <laughs> because I'm running late. I'm off to see one of my friends. I don't know how much I'm gonna film because she's bringing her daughter, but we're gonna go for a nice walk. I think we're gonna he head to the market and yeah, just enjoy the spring weather. So yesterday, Andrew and I were painting lots of sheets of paper, as you saw, for a collage that I want to make. I feel like I'm just playing more in day-to-day -day life. That Doing that yesterday was like a classic example of that. Yeah, today I want to make my collage. I'm slightly procrastinating because I do know that I have to crack on with my packing, but that's fine. I'm going to do the collage first because I really feel in the mindset for it and then Afterwards, I'll pop on some music and do my packing.
two days before we leave for Florence and I've been intending to pack for the last week and I've just not been able to quite get there. So today I need to employ all of the skills I have to create the right environment for my brain. Well, actually the first thing I'm gonna do is break down all of the steps because I was trying to get all of the packing done in a day and I just don't think that's necessary. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just make sure everything is washed. That will be today. And then tomorrow I will do the actual packing. I'm also gonna give myself a treat after I've done the washing today and after I've packed tomorrow. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna think of something. Fingers crossed that works. Today, washing. Well, phase one went really well yesterday. I cleaned all my clothes. I did like three or four rounds of laundry. So all around claps for me. But today is the day that I finally, I finally pack. I'm just about to take Alfie on a beautiful walk because it's beautiful weather. It's so sunny. And I thought it would be nice to show you a bit of him running around and being happy. That always makes me happy to see. I'll show you a bit of my packing, but um, I'm probably not going to talk to you again until I see you in Florence. So thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. And I'll see you in the next vlog when we're in Florence.